Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your homie, Big Daddy Gibbs at BDG Comics, and today is another Wednesday, which means it's another new comic book day. How exciting is that? So, as always, I'm going to show you what I picked up today, and I'm pretty hyped about it. Uh, it could have been a bigger week than it was, um, but I chose to kind of try to stay under my budget, which is about 50 40 to $50 dollars is kind of where like the max that I want to spend um, on New Comic Book Day. And without further ado, let me show you what I picked up. Now, first of all, this is this one kind of doesn't count uh, because it came in the mail and I paid about $1.50 for this book, um, plus shipping, of course, because eBay. And this is a, not nothing new, like this is an old, older, it's actually a trade paperback of a series that um, when I did some research uh, to see like what uh, kind of older series I should read. And this was one that kept popping up time and time again. So I looked for a trade and picked it up um, on the cheap on YouTube. Like I said, I paid $1.50 for this and it's surprisingly in pretty good condition for the amount that I paid. I don't know if that means that um, maybe that it just got printed a ton or what but I got Kingdom Come from Mark Wade and Alex Ross I've heard this is a really really um, influential and essential DC comics run so I picked that up yeah well, it was in pretty good condition and definitely excited to give that one a try All right, and for comics that I actually picked up from New Comic Book Day, we have Batman and Scooby-Doo Mystery. Now, this is the final issue, and that's kind of one of the main reasons I picked it up, because I haven't been reading this series or anything like that, but at a $2.99 cover price, I've heard this series is a lot of fun, and I thought maybe I'd pick up something that I could read together with my daughter, who is four years old. So, um, yeah, that should be fun. I'm excited about that. All right, next we got Sabretooth issue number two. Now, the first issue, this was really good. Kind of showcased Sabretooth uh, trapped in his mind inside of um, the Croco in Hell. Um, so I'm hoping that in this one, maybe he'll break out or they'll kind of lead up towards that. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't even know. But uh, I'm excited to see where they're going with this. Next up, we got Radiant Red. I love the Radiant Verse. Um, Images superhero universe uh, with Radiant Black and now Rogue Sun and Inferno Girl Red and Radiant Red and Radiant Pink and Radiant Yellow. Like they're doing really special things here. It's it gives off like a like people have said before. It gives off like a Power Rangers vibe, um, which I I get. But I think it's much cooler than Power Rangers, to be, to be honest. Um, but I'm excited to see. This is issue number one. Um, curious to see where they go. And it's only a miniseries. It's, they're doing one of. They're doing five of these. This is one of five. And uh, yeah, um, pretty much. I just love the Radiant Verse so far, and I'm excited to continue with a new character learn more about Radiant Red. She actually seems like a, she could be a really cool character, at least based on her appearances in Radiant Black. So next we have Captain Carter number one. Now I'm not like super pumped about this one. Um, I do want to read it. And I did like that What If episode with Captain Carter. Uh, but a lot of the reason why I picked this was the speculation on it. I mean, it's the first time Captain Carter herself has appeared. Um, in a comic book. So, I, I don't know. It could be interesting. Um, I'm probably, unless I love this issue, I probably won't pull any more. I just wanted the issue one. I don't even know if this is a miniseries. My guess is that it is, but um, not sure. But excited to read it. Check it out. All right, next up, I picked up two. I'm going to show you two comics for this one. Because I picked up. Nightwing 89 and Superman Son of Kal-El number 9. Excited to um, 
read a little bit more into this series. I've read a couple issues and definitely digging it. Um, I'm a huge Superman fan already, so um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. And this is also another older one, not old, but uh, a couple of issues, a couple of weeks past. I think I think it was like February sixteenth, something like that, when this released. But King Conan number three. I picked this up purely because of the speculation about Jason Aaron changing the name of the uh, Pocahontas character. Um, I guess in future reprints or in trade print, they're going to go with a new name. So I called my shop and I was like, hey, do you have any more copies of that uh, King Conan number three? He's like, yeah, I got one left. I'll put it uh, aside for you. And yep, here we are. I picked it up. Um, this book is actually already going for like, $20 on eBay or something like that. Something silly. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Um, I'll probably check it out because I like the medieval fantasy type stuff, uh, but I never really read anything King Conan other than uh, I read an older Savage Avengers trade. Uh, but I'm curious to see, you know, where they went with this book and what the speculation looks like in the future. Right now, another new book, Thor 23. And I got the Carnage Forever variant because I love Carnage. Um, and I just thought it was super cool. So I picked it up. I know there was a few Carnage Forever variants and I didn't want to go too crazy and just get all the Carnage Forever variants and none of the cover A's. So I just picked one and this is the one I chose. So there we are. Looks pretty sweet, and I'm excited to continue the Thor series. This is the conclusion of the God of Hammers mini arc, I believe. Definitely uh, excited to check that one out. And then we got X Men Legends number 12, which finishes off the current run of X Men Legends. So I'm kind of excited to not have a book on my pull list for a little while, but I know it's coming back. Uh, with different writers in a different direction, I believe. So, and the, they plan on doing another 12 issues. Um, but this series, I've read, I think I've read eight out of the 12 so far. And uh, it's been good, but it's hit or miss. There's some good issues, and then there's some not so good issues. Um, but overall, I really like the X Men. So it's cool to get some, some of these like classic era. X-Men stories, considering I don't really own any classic era X-Men stuff. So that's been good for me. And then, uh, what we have here, Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse number one. Now, I uh, also, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to pull this series or not either. This one's kind of on the fence for me, uh, but I will definitely read this and check it out and, uh, make a decision from there. If I hate this book, I probably won't get it anymore, but... If it's just okay, I'll consider it depending on, I guess, um, solicitations and maybe the covers of the future books. Uh, maybe if there's spec on them, I'll keep pulling it, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, either way, it looks like it could be interesting. I'm not getting the What If Miles Morales series, so I was like, well, if I'm going to get one of these Freaky Friday books, I guess I'll just get the Gwenverse, the Spider-Gwen book. And then I picked up Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, I am a big Star Wars fan. Um, but uh, I'm sick of the movie timeline. I really... That's why I kind of like the High Republic stuff that they were doing. Um, but I really liked the Old Republic. That was like my jam. And I wish they would go back to that. Um, but considering... Um, this is what we get basically from Star Wars. Um, and I do kind of like the bounty hunter ish side story stuff, not necessarily, uh, the Jedi and Sith sort stories as quite as much as the like CD street level Star Wars stuff. That's what I really like. Um, so, um, I'm excited to check this one out and I guess there's a bunch of first appearances or something. Um, could be interesting. The $5 cover price is not my favorite, but uh, still excited to check it out. 
And then my last but not least book of this new comic book day, March 9th, 2022 new comic book day, is The Punisher number one. And I got this variant where he has his, you can see through a bullet hole in his armor, his chest armor. You can see him in the back kind of walking away from the old logo, which I don't know how I feel about it, but um, I'm excited to read this for sure. Um, but I do hope that that $6 cover price drops down. That's a little a little much for me for like just a basic reg, re, re, regular uh, regular comic. That's a little too much, but I'm excited to see you know what this issue has in store and uh, if I want to pull it in the future. All right, that's pretty much that's it for me. Um, what did you guys get uh, on this new comic book day? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until next time.